Hey guys, on this video we're gonna go over how to get your Canon software to work with your camera. So, first of all, let's just go into canon.com, alright? So let me just go back for a second on the page so I can show you where to go. Exactly, okay, so you're gonna go into canon.com, support, and then you guys will click on drivers, alright? So, then you guys will get this page. In this page, just start typing in what camera you guys have. In this case, I'm just gonna type in T3i, alright? And then just click on your camera, go, and then you guys will see your system preferences right here. And just make sure you're downloading the appropriate ones. Right now we're in High Sierra, all right? And here we go. So utility 2.14 should work. So we're gonna select that, and then we're gonna download. Okay, so um, you guys always need to do this because usually you get your camera with a CD which is way out of date and will not work. So this is the way to make it work with the latest OS for your Mac right now. So you guys will get this, just install this DMG file, okay, once it downloads. It shouldn't take that long to download, as you can see. Um, the installation process, really easy. Just make sure you don't have your camera hooked up and turned on to your computer at this point. And um, if you have your older Canon software running, just quit it. And then we are going to install this just by double clicking, open. If you guys can't open this, by the way, uh, just go to your system preferences and just change your security so you guys could open that up. So we're going to select Canada for now. Um, again, you guys can just click OK. All right. Just make sure everything's closed. And here's our utility too. So here it is. It's closed. Just make sure. Um, we're going to click on install. And then yes again. And of course, you guys may need a password if you guys have a set password for your Mac. If you don't, just click OK. And we're going to wait. This whole installation process shouldn't take you guys more than 30 minutes if you guys have really, really slow internet. Uh, other than that, it's going to take you guys about 15 minutes max. If you guys can't find the appropriate software for your camera, so let's say, for example, you guys have a Canon T5i. And um, you guys just don't see the options for High Sierra right now on the Canon.com website, which, by the way, doesn't matter which country you guys are at, you guys can download software from there. Uh, so let's say you guys don't see that. Don't worry about it. Just type in T3i, and that will actually work with your Canon T5i. And that actually goes to a ton, a ton of cameras. So you guys can't find your camera. Don't worry about it, just download the exact same software that I'm downloading right now, and you guys should be okay. In some cases, there's Utility 3, and that one's even, well, I wouldn't say even better, but um, for some cameras, that's the one that you guys need. So in this case, Utility 2 will work just fine. I actually already tested that on my other Mac, and it's all good to go. Um, and then everything should work right after that even your remote shooting everything's compatible at this time um just in case there's another os gonna come out a few months later don't update your mac until you know all your software is gonna work with the latest os all right so once we're done installing that's pretty much it all you guys need to do is open it up and download or remote shoot or do whatever you guys want um in this case, I'm just going to go up here. Let's just type in utility 2 so you guys see that. And then we should be good to go. All right. Um, in some cases, you guys may need to restart your Mac. But in most cases, you don't. This will right away let you download and select your downloads, your images, and you're ready to go. Anyways, if you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here below in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.